interest in the Better Births campaign arose from my uh, engagement in setting up the Normal Birth campaign for the Royal College of Midwives, which in turn also arose from my interest in maximising the potential for women to have a positive childbirth and primarily to understand the nature of physiological labour and birth because at the time when the campaign was set up there, were, there was a, an interest in reducing cesarean section rates but nobody was really paying attention to the fact that women who are not having cesareans were having a large rate, a large amount of interventions during labour and birth which were causing iatrogenic damage. And so our particular interest at the time, and, and that's now continuing with the Better Birth campaign, was to make sure that we understood the nature of physiological labour and birth, and then to use that knowledge to be able to maximise the potential for all women, no matter what their, their circumstances were, to have as much as possible of that kind of labour and birth, that under their health, health circumstances, the particular circumstances they were in, was appropriate for them and for their baby and their families. And over the time that this whole campaign and the, and the consequences of the campaign have been evolving, it's become increasingly clear from a whole range of multidisciplinary evidence bases, such as epigenetics and neurophysiology, that actually the consequences of an intervention during labour and birth are very long and far-reaching. And it becomes extremely important for us now, it is now extremely important for us to turn the tide of this rising rate of intervention and to create that space in which women can become or are enabled to maximise their potential for labour as it's designed to be.